Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, today we are going to start chapter two of MIS. Uh, the book is already shared with you guys, and you can find the PowerPoint as well on online, easily available, and also I will share it on the Google Classroom. So the title of the chapter is Global E Businesses, uh, and furtherly we will be using how businesses use information systems. Uh, so most of the businesses today. The information systems or digital digital systems are very essential, and even you cannot consider uh, running a business without internet and a computer. So the learning objectives of the chapter: first, learning objective is define and describe how business processes and what's their relationships to the information systems. Secondly, we will describe the information systems supporting the major business functions. What are the major business functions? So first of all. Uh, the first major business function is sales and marketing. Every business is running, or the sales and marketing is the backbone of every business. And then, in some cases, or in the cases usually for the industrial engineers, uh, you will be dealing with manufacturing and production process. And we will see how the information systems uh, will help manufacturing processes have better efficiency. And uh, finance and accounting, the third critical area. Because without finance and proper accounting and auditing, uh, you cannot have a sustainable business in these days. And then obviously the human resource, because humans are the backbone for running any organization. Uh, and obviously uh, the record of the human play a critical role because categorizing uh, each person according to their level of uh, expertise is essential. An organization with a 500 people uh, will can easily pinpoint the uh, skills of their laborers, uh, their people, for example, there may be few engineers and there may be like uh, different skills people. So according to their uh, skills, they can get the right people easily using the information system. And obviously, if they are different skill level people, then you will, needing the, you will be needing the different kind of uh, human resource training and you can schedule the training, etc. So we will dig into it later in the chapter. Then evaluate the role played by systems serving the various level of the management in a business and their relationship to uh, relationship to each other. Explain how enterprises uh, applications, I will have to drag it to the outside. Right corner is better place, I think. So explain how enterprise applications and internet promote business process integration and improve organization performance. We will look into this in the chapter as well. And assess the role of information system systems function in a business. Going forward, what is a business process? So as you know that uh, business processes are usually the workflows of material information uh, knowledge. So what is a business process? There is always a flow of material. For example, in case of the DHL or TCS these days, which is very active, you see a lot of material handling. But material handling is not possible without information sharing, and which is not possible with a proper knowledge system working in place, and also the logistics in case of TCS. Then also a business process is a set of activities and different steps. Yes, I may be tied to functional areas or be cross-functional. What are the functional areas? There are four functional areas we uh, studied earlier in the outline of the chapter, excluding the manufacturing part, where the manufacturing part is covered by the logistics part. Yes, we have businesses can be seen as a collection of business processes. Yes, the number of business processes and business processes may be assets or liability. So what is meaning of asset or liability? Okay, I think you got it because you guys have uh, covered this in your economy subjects. So assets are those which creates wealth for you. For example, you have a running business and it is creating uh, a wealth for you, then it is an asset. Or you have an old car, then the old car is a liability because you have to take it to the mechanic all the time. Your car is a liability because because of your car, you have to do expenses and a business or a shop is your asset because because of that business, you are getting uh, earning money. Examples of functional uh, business processes, manufacturing and production, uh, functional business processes, like we have different kind of business processes Manufacturing and production, assembly, assembling the plant. As you went to the Lahore tour last year, maybe you have visited different companies. So there you saw the manufacturing and production processes. 
the last time when I went to the uh, tour on 2018, so we took the organized students to the Bunda Atlas and higher plant. So that was a very good experience and the production and uh, manufacturing processes cannot be run efficiently without a uh, proper information system or management information system. Then the sales and marketing. So most of the businesses here uh, in Pakistan are based on the sales and marketing. You get a uh, product directly from the China or Europe or Middle East from anywhere and you are doing sales and marketing. Uh, a very famous software for the sales and marketing is basically the salesforce.com. You can go online and search them. This is one of the most powerful uh, sales and marketing software and application in the world. The third one is the finance and accounting, creating financial statements. So there are a lot of software for creating a financial statements as well. Um, you know, the one I know is the QuickBook. But on the higher level, uh, when I was working in Pakistan Tobacco Company back in 2010, they used SAP Finance and Accounting Module, which is very powerful, but also very expensive for the SMEs handle it. Then human resources and hiring employees. Uh, let's take the example of your universities. So in you know, your universities, maybe there are 300 to 400 uh, teaching faculty, and then there is a lab, a lab staff, then there are administrative people, then there are drivers, there are buses, there are uh, gardeners, and so many people. So keeping the record of each and every one along with their salaries and along with their, um, along with their experience and seniority is a hectic job as they are doing manually. So we are trying to uh, come up with a ERP system, which is based on the Python, Odo, to uh, take the record of all those people under the module of the HR. That's why I have been teaching you guys the Python uh, because the question has been raised uh, before the midterm that student teaches the MIS because you already know a lot of processes, but what happens, uh, we generally tell them, uh, the student that this is the, this kind of MIS, but because of their lack of programming knowledge, they are not able to play with these softwares. And I tell you that one of the very powerful software, which is Odo, is also available online free of course. So if you have very basic Python knowledge or you can learn from your online skills because now you have you have a working experience with the Python where you can deal with the functions and libraries and uh, loops, you can easily work with the Odo. And if you go to an organization as an intern or as a job employee, you can work with the IT department and help them implement the Odo in their organization. And Odo is free up to, I guess, uh, 800 to 1,000 employees. The Odo is free, uh, which is very good. Uh, for example, here, figure 2.1, and what does it tell? So in the previous slide, what we tell that there are four business processes, functional business processes areas. And using the information systems, uh, we can create or bring efficiency into these areas as well. Then uh, figure 2.1, which is telling us the uh, fulfilling a, a customer order involves a complex set of steps that requires the close coordination of the sales, accounting, and manufacturing functions. For example, let's take the example of a battery organization. For example, Volta Battery, one of our students is working at there in Hattar, and uh, like I guess a few of the students went for their internships and their project as well. For, so what happens, the sales department of the Volta Battery is getting generating the orders and uh, the orders uh, they get from the local regional centers, for example, in Peshawar, Karachi, Lahore, and so on. Then they submit these orders along with the dates uh, to the organization. And then the organization check the, uh, uh, check the credit. Either, uh, let's say the organization is running on the credit basis that you have to give them credit for some advance. Then on base of that, they will uh, check the credit, approve that credit, and it will generate the invoice for the customer or the distribution center, local distribution center, not the direct customer. And based on those orders, for example, let's suppose this is the end of the June. For example, they said uh, on the 15th July, like we have uh, order of 1000 batteries from KPK region. So based on that, they will start their manufacturing and assemble the product and ship those product so that it can be easily uh, shipped to the distribution center of the shower. Uh, so this is uh, a sim very simple business process and you can see there are a lot of places where information systems can be used and obviously the organizations and uh, will be using the information systems as well. So then the information technology enhances uh, the business uh, processes in two main ways. So there are a lot of ways 
in which the IT enhances the business process, but the two of them are increased efficiency of existing process, automatic steps that we are uh, doing manually. As I gave you guys the example of the uh, university, if they bring the automation into the process, the process which takes like a month will only take like two to three days. Uh, then enabling entirely new process that are capable of transforming the businesses. For example, in universities these days, uh, nobody could think of a virtual learning system, but because they brought a new process to the organization, they, it has transformed the learning system. And now a lot of organizations are thinking for their future for the virtual learning, and uh, which is very one of the very best and powerful way where you can easily learn at the comfort of your homes, provided the internet is available to you guys. And hopefully within an year, the areas with uh, lake internet facility will have very powerful internet, uh, hopefully, inshallah. Then it will change the flow of information. Obviously, the flow of information has been changed. Previously, it was in the classrooms. Now it's at your doorstep. Replace the sequential steps with parallel. Yes, of course. The business processes. One step is dependent on the other, while if you bring out the information systems, uh, you can do multiple steps in parallel, eliminate, eliminate delays in the decision making. So the question is how one can eliminate the delays in the decision making. It's very easy because previously the managers used to uh, wait for the information provided by the different organizations or, or different departments of the same organization, but now the information is readily available because of the uh, information system and uh, which eliminate the delays in the decision maker and it helps us to make quick decisions. Then types of uh, business information systems, uh, systems from a functional perspective, uh, we have like sales and marketing systems, manufacturing production systems, finance and accounting systems and human and resource systems. So why these systems have been categorized into the different categories? Let's take the example. Let's suppose we went to the plant of Honda Atlas Lahore. So their needs will be completely different from the TCS, uh, which is the courier service. Their needs will be completely different. So for both of the organization, for the one sales and marketing system uh, will be the perfect uh, and suitable system needed. And for the other, the manufacturing and production systems are required. Similarly, for an organization which deals, for example, Rosie.pk or Indeed.com, which is a Gulf uh, HR based system, so they need the HR systems and those auditing and uh, forms, for example, the KPMG, et cetera, they need the finance and accounting systems. So you have to categorize these systems and even you can use a few of the modules in the sales and marketing or the sales and marketing modules in the manufacturing as well. It, it depends on the organization and uh, you will have to cover this with your experience once you go to your organization. Then sales and marketing system. So let's, uh, sorry, there's a marketing system. Okay, sales and marketing systems, uh, functional concerns include sales and management, customer identification, marketing, research, advertising, and promotion, pricing, and new products. All these functions are performed by the sales and marketing people. And examples of the systems include the order processing, um, the pricing analysis, and the sales trend forecast. So you see in the parenthesis, it's mentioned that sales trends for, for processing. So if you are working in a director level, you will be looking into the trends of the next four to five months, for example, in these days, there are COVID and let's say the COVID last till December 2019, 2020, sorry, or September. So what are the, what would be the sales trend and how you will be managing the, taking the overall organization from a direction that, that will be the beneficial for everyone. Or you are a mid-level manager or the accountant or cost analyst where you will be analyzing the cost. So you are in the middle management and order processing is the lower level or which is directly uh, the operational level. For example, you are directly interacting with the customers or distributing agents. You are taking the orders and taking their feedback as well. So this feedback is communicated to the middle management and accordingly they set the uh, pricing and then it is then communicated to the senior management which set the sales trends and demand and uh, supply analysis of the market, competitors, etc. 
then example of a sales information system. So for example, uh, like data elements in the sales file include the store number, item number, item description, color size, unit price, unit sold, date, etc., and so on. So uh, which are saved in the sales file. Then there's a sales system that takes the online queries and answers from the sales file. For example, if you are going to purchase an air conditioner or AC inverter, for example, from AS these days, you go to the AS website and you get the online store prices. And then, uh, uh, then the sales data, then how many of the sales from a particular region, uh, region has been done in this region, uh, in this time period, then accordingly you maintain to, uh, to inventory and production systems, you update the inventory and production based on your daily or hourly production uh, sales. And then these reports go to the management that this is the daily and weekly sales, which brand is uh, getting out of the shelf, which brand is in more demand. And the sales report weekly ending 7, 27, 2007, you say that item number 294, which was sports bag and color was black, size was small, unit price was $10, unit sold was $10,451 and total sales was this one. This is the weekly sales, okay? So accordingly, you, you can uh, manage a sales information system. Then the manufacturing system, uh, sorry, I think I need a break. How do you put it? Let's see. Um, lost. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So starting back, I just took a five minutes break. Manufacturing and production systems. Um, so many of you went for your internships and you saw the manufacturing and production facilities. Uh, the functional uh, concerns include managing production facilities, production flows, production materials, and scheduling, etc. And then examples uh, include the machine control, operational management, production planning, which is the middle management and guys have covered much of that and facilities location for the future which is the facilities location from the senior management perspective which you guys already covered as well your facilities management chapter or subject sorry okay uh, moving forward so this is the inventory system and you guys already know very well what the inventory system is um, for example the inventory let us report, uh, we have item number, which is fan belt, the power call item number 661 fan belt, units on hand, which is 10,201, units on order is zero. So this tells us the inventory system where, where you have inventory master file, which is also used uh, for the record of MRP, material requirement planning, which you guys already covered in the production planning and control and also in your, uh, I guess, production systems, manufacturing systems, then uh, from there, you if someone is getting the online queries, you can have the online queries and then the shipment and order data you have and you can send the reports to the top management. Going forward, then finance and accounting system, which is very critical. And those who want to pursue their careers in the field, I also uh, tell them as an engineer, if you uh, get an executive MBA degree uh, from any organization or any virtual, virtual university, can have a very wonderful career in the anywhere in the world because the combination of engineering along and especially the industrial engineering along with the accounting and finance and MBA knowledge it gives you the perfect uh, perfect match for any organization and if you see the multinational organization they usually advertise it that we need an engineer with an MBA degree the functional area concerns the managing financial assets your cash stocks etc and capitalization of your firm and managing firms' financial records. Uh, then the examples of systems include accounts receivable, um, operational management, the accounts or the money that you have in your market and you need to receive them from your um, distribution, etc. Then the budgeting for your one year, two year uh, budgeting for the organization, which is carried out by the middle management. And once you get more experience, you go to the director level and then you plan for the uh, profit as well. You see then, for example, if selling this product here in this region uh, give us this kind of profit, why not to sell this to abroad uh, 
or export it because in export uh, you get a lot of profit. For example, one of my students uh, running who's working in our organization, manufacturing shirt manufacturing organization, I guess in US April in Lahore. He was saying, he was telling me that uh, from the one shirt, one product which we are selling to America and especially to New York, uh, all the revenues or the profit margin is of the organization is 70% based on the one shirt item uh, and which is contributing approximately 70 to 80% of the complete profit. So then same structure for the account receivable, then you post to the HR. For the HR functional areas concerned in identifying potential employees, which is very critical. For example, you see a lot of companies like Mol, Mardi Gas, uh, PTCL, uh, they are running very extensive, um, very extensive HR systems where they identify the uh, key employees using their uh, uh, currently HR people and based on that they maintain their record, they maintain their prof, uh, performance records and based on those performance they compensate them and also they design the trainings for them, maintaining employees record, creating programs to develop employees talent and skills. Examples of systems uh, include training and development, operational level, compensation analysis, middle management and human resource planning from the top management. In the same HR uh, and employee record keeping system. For example, here we will have this date and the employee name is let's suppose, let's suppose Suleiman uh, or Akram or the number of the employee. Here we have usually CNIC or every employee can have their specific number and reason is position eliminated. You are going to hire on this John Hansen, uh, replace him by Suleiman or uh, anyone else because this is a termination report. Systems for constituency perspective. So transaction. Uh, so what's constituency perspective? So coming to that, first of all, look into this transaction processing systems, supporting operational level employees. For example, the banking system, you go to a bank um, and uh, in the bank, the teller is directly uh, interacting with you. And based on that interaction, the teller has the transaction processing system where a uh, local transaction is being carried out. So this is the consistency of a bank or a service organization, then management information system, decision support system, supporting managers. So based on that, in this part of system, it has like algorithms or optimizing optimization tools, which supports basically the decision of the manager. For example, if we embed an AI system uh, to a image recognition system, which is currently being done in the Abu Dhabi, America, China, what they do, they recognize the facial of the people and they check whether they are wearing the mask or not, or what kind of people are um, violating the rules and so on. So it helps them to basically, uh, the law enforcement agency to uh, proactively um, come up to stop a disaster or stop the violation. Then the executive support system supporting the executives where they take the long-term uh, decisions and they check the market shares and they check the market trends, the international and local laws and the, uh, the economies of the different uh, economies of the countries. And based on that, they take the decision that we will study one by one. Transaction process system, you just keep it the banking system in your mind. That in the banking system, you perform and record daily transaction routines necessary to conduct business. It includes the sales ordering entry, payroll, shipment, uh, and it also allow managers to monitor status of the operations and relations with the external environment. Take the example of banks. So uh, from the TPS, the transactional processing system is also known as the TPS. From the TCS, the managers are easy, easily able to like know that what's the performance of my uh, branch from hourly basis, even to the minute basis. Then the service operational, serve operational levels like how many customers are being served in 10 minutes or in one hour, they serve predefined structured goals and decision-making. It also helps you to take, uh, make structured goals and decision-making because the operational data is coming to you in a live wave and you are able to take the decisions. So here I stop and in the next video, we will cover the other systems which include the MIS and executive support system. Uh, here it stop and then